Mr. Quick for the US stock market is coming to an end. Our experts are ready to share the assessment and uh, forecasts. And Wall Street investors helping in Asia on a, in light uh, in uh, the Fed's minutes, despite uh, faint attempts to recover the stock market is uh, trading water awaiting fresh catalysts. The Dow Jones inched up 0.3% yesterday and the Nasdaq locked 0.1% uptick and the S&P 500 gained 0.4% to close at 4,512. Such minor gains could be hardly considered a trend reversal. The S&P is expected to trade in the corridor between 4,470 and 4,550. Wall Street is wind down by the Fed stance on aggressive monetary tightening and new remarks from Fed policymakers cemented such expectations and yesterday James Bullard, Charles Evans and Rafael Bostic advocated for a rate hike by 50 basis points at a time. The later two speakers supported that interest rates should be raised to the neutral level of 2.4% by the year end. However, Mr. Bullard was more hawkish. He supported the increase in interest rates to 3 or 3.25 percent in the second half of the year. So investors dispelled any doubts that the U.S. Central Bank would act with a deter determination and would announce a sharp rate hike in May. In the medium-term outlook for the U.S. stock market is bearish. However, Wall Street could find some support during this season of corporate reports. Besides, a truce of Ukraine could revive appetite for risk, but the peace talks have not brought any progress yet. With such fundamentals, we can hardly predict any notable gains in the major stock indexes in the short term. Amid the doom and gloom on Wall Street, the US dollar is adv advancing across the boat. Its index climbed to 99.90 yesterday in the pre-market today, and the index topped the psychological level of 100 points, the strongest mark in two years. The question is whether the index will be able to settle above this mark. The expected corridor for today is in between 99.60 and 100.20. The US dollar owes its uh, transfer to the hawkish rhetoric of the Federal Reserve that was confirmed by the minutes and speakers. Besides the ongoing hostilities in Ukraine and escalating sanctions on Russia, boost demand for the US dollar as a safe haven asset. All in all, the greenback has surged 1.5% in this trading week. Analysts are betting on its transfer, though we mm, should not rule out a small correction. The firm Greenback is pushing the USD card pair up. Yesterday it was trading at 1.2580. The currency pay is trading higher also amid declining oil prices, and it's likely to trade in the corridor between 1.25 and 1.27 with an upward bias. The pair could change its trajectory following a publication of the federal budget for 2022. The government plans huge spending that could be riskier on the back of um, inflation at a 30-year peak. Investors anticipate the Bank of Canada to raise interest rates at the pace of 50 basis points aiming to curb inflation. Today, the market got to know data on the labor market released today. The unemployment rate in Canada aged down to 5.3% in March from 5.5% in February, in line with the expectations and the fresh score in the lowest uh, since 1976, when the survey was launched. The new report proves a steady recovery in the labor market in the wake of the pandemic crisis. The number of jobless people declined by 35,300. Meanwhile, the number one cryptocurrency is a trading in the red. Following a 4% slump yesterday, Bitcoin regained a minor 0.68%. It's now trading at about 43,581. Hidden downwards. Analysts are bearish about the flagship crypto, and technical indicators say that bullish and bearish forces are in equilibrium. The price will hardly recover to $45,000. Bitcoin is expected to trade in the character between $42,000 and $44,000, and if the token declines below the lower bottom, it could plunge as low as $36,400 and the level seen in the winter. And if the price does not surpass 42,200, it will hardly be able to climb to $48,000. 
To sum it up, despite Koshin's attempts to gain ground, the stock market is overwhelmed by pessimism. Unlike stocks, the US dollar is extending strength. Traders are braced for the highly volatile session today. The US dollar is going to be the winner. Have a nice weekend and see you on Monday.